Well, hello, people here. Today, I wanted to tell you how to fix Autodesk 2024 installer does not work because I know solution. Uh, I will show you what happens when you try to install on Windows 10. And I know solution how to fix that. If, if you see that, it is possible to fix that. You go to Odis, Installer. You have to install this first. Autodesk ODIS Installer. Then we have to navigate uh, to that catalog when we have that application installed. Because it is to do, it is due to Windows Registry Editor, which blocks a uh, couple important files. I will explain to you because Autodesk explained on his web page what to do, and I found a solution, and I will make it easier for you. You go, we go to program files, Autodesk, Autodesk ODIS. And in set up folder, we have to focus on uh, EXC files. They are being blocked by registry editor. Uh, I will explain to you. When you try to uh, run Autodesk service host, Autodesk service host, that won't be possible because you will get error message. This file exists, but it is being blocked by registry editor. We have to go to regedit. Uh, Happy local machine. Make me, me let me wait, let me allow to resize this window so I can explain vector to you what files we will be unblocking because uh, this utility when I find my mouse cursor is important. Without it, you won't be able to install Autodesk 2024 products. Hackle local machine software. Uh, Microsoft Windows NT. Current version. Um, actually, where is it supposed to go? Image file execution option. I I'm almost forgotten. We got a debugger. You have to delete that file because this blocks important files from running. Uh, Acrobat. We got Autodesk. Uh, this is uh, Autodesk service. Autodesk Access Core, you have to delete that. Autodesk Access Dialog Utility. Autodesk Access Service. Autodesk Access Service Host. Also, we need to get rid of the. Oh, this is quite important. Autodesk Desk. Oh, this, this doesn't have download manager. What else? Genuine service. Uh, okay, what we got here? Install, install helper. Install manager, install agent, log analyzer, process, and the last one called process manager. I hope that should help us. Now I will try to install because I need to install Maya 2024. Update to hopefully this will help us. I will have to check 
If getting stronger, get oh yes, I can see that. I have to check if my uh, 2024 will be installed correctly. Bear with me for a couple of seconds. Uh, I think I deleted all the booger files because this is actually important. Because that registry image file execution options, this was blocking Autodesk installer from installing uh, the newest version of Autodesk products. Uh, okay, what we got here? I just have to double check if I deleted properly of all of the files. Oh, come on, Maya. Install it correctly. I just have to make sure that everything... Oh, it goes forward. So I, I think I done this correctly because yesterday I installed Autodesk Inventor and it, everything went successfully without any problems. What is this? I don't know what that file is to do with what I'm gonna... I double check if I done this correctly. I don't have any other files of Windows e of Autodesk installed. I think I done this correctly. You have to remember. You go to I will copy that path for your image file execution. You can also add it to favorites. So next time you can go to image file execution options. I could actually try to search this. I, I wanted to check if this can find it. This may take a while, so you could actually get manually to this uh, important uh, to hack local machine software, uh, Microsoft, Windows NT current version, and image file execution options. And I hope you like my video tutorial. I just have to wait when my Autodesk installer finishes. But uh, in case of Autodesk Inventor, you have to go to your catalog program application data or program data. Because sometimes you have to take ownership. Uh, I think, no, no, not that one, application data, local, Autodesk. I think uh, in case of Maya, it should be okay. But in case, uh, in case of Autodesk Inventor, you have to use option, uh, where is this? I probably didn't install, we take ownership. This option can be added because this will allow you to install as administrator, you can take, you can be owner of the folder and you will have full control over specific folder. Uh, I, I think when you have Windows, uh, Windows Manager, uh, okay, I try to find, where is this? Okay, I will show you how to add the take ownership option because you will probably need it. Uh, customization, uh, context menu. Oh, my Maya installation goes forward and nothing happened wrong, which makes me happy. Okay, we go to add menu. Uh, this option, take ownership, if you select here and here and you save, this will add the command, take ownership, so you can have full control of the specific folder because I had to do that when I was installing Autodesk Inventor 2024. And not only this, uh, you can uh, do other things, but do not mess with registry cleaner. No, this will not help you to fix that issue, what I showed you with Autodesk Installer. This will only break things. 
of your operating system and we remove very important keys which are to do with programs, applications. I never clean registry because this will mess up operating system. Do as I told you to do. Or you can customize your system. But uh, mainly, I will show you where to get uh, help from. Okay, we, we got the installer goes for work. This is what you have to pay attention on, because I will open up this. I was following what Autodesk, what Autodesk said. This is what you're supposed to do. So you can follow uh, this tutorial and Autodesk was really helpful and I was able to fix Autodesk installer because I wanted to try my uh, 2024 update too. I'm just waiting if this installer will install without any problems. Okay, I think nothing went wrong, I believe. Just give me a few seconds. They can follow that instruction because uh, in the past I thought uh, I had a corrupted installer one of the installers. I thought this was corrupted, but nothing was wrong because uh, when I try to uh, turn this on, you can still navigate to that file, but that file was blocked by Windows registry. And you can see I installed my 2024 update too. I hope you like my video tutorial. See you guys. Bye.